Hello again everyone. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to enable Smart Proxy. Now you may ask, what is Smart Proxy? Now basically Smart Proxy is something that you enable to um, allow you to render and edit your videos a lot quicker. Now the reason you'd want to do this is, for example, if you had filmed a video in full HD and you don't have the highest spec computer in the world, when you put that into the editor it would then have to load that full HD video while you're editing it. It would slow down the whole process and in the long run make editing time a lot longer. So what the Smart Proxy does is it essentially decreases the quality but only while you're editing it. When you export it, it will be back in its full quality as it was when you recorded it. So although it may look bad when it's in the editor, when it's finished it will be just as good as it was before and this will decrease the editing time because you won't be waiting for it to load that video clip every single time you're editing it will only play the decreased quality now to do this you need to go to settings and then you'll see it says smart proxy manager and you can go to settings or you can just enable it here the quick way is just to go on here and press enable smart proxy it will then run on the default settings. If you want to edit the default settings, go to settings and you'll see just here it says Smart Proxy. Enable it, you press the tick there, and then you can choose when you want it to, what size you want the video to be enabled in Smart Proxy. So here it's set by 720 by 576, um, which is a fairly standard definition. These ones up here are the full HD ones and you definitely definitely want to be doing it for those ones so what it's doing for default is saying anything above this one here it will create a smart proxy now I'm going to keep it at that because it's quite a good one for it to be at and then you can choose the proxy folder and this is where it will save that smart proxy video to now I'm quite happy with where it is this, was, this is just the default folder and it's a pretty good one because it's fairly out of the way and it's not going to clutter up everything else when I'm doing my editing so that is pretty much all there is to setting up the Smart Proxy and all you have to do then is click OK and that's it, that is all you have to do and now the quality will look worse but when you've exported it it will be just as good as it was and the benefit here is editing time will be decreased and it will be just a lot easier overall so hopefully you've enjoyed this quick tutorial in Smart Proxies thanks very much for watching